<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Kira from Plaid and we are here for our very, very first ever paint night with Plaid. And we have all our Plaid creators here, Tim Shellum. So you guys out there in Facebook Live land, thank you for joining us. We are super excited. We hope you are painting along with us tonight. You've got all your girlfriends, all your friends, you've got, you've got your cocktail, you've got your wine, your chocolate, your snacks, and you're going to paint, and we're just kind of having a really good time. Anybody can do this. Um, this is what we're going to paint. We're going to paint these cactus. And if you RSVP to the event, um, the list of product was actually listed, um, what you need to complete this painting tonight. And in that was a promo for Plaid Online, and it is 1PWP30, and that is a special discount for this paint party tonight. And check it out, Deanna is going to post it in our comments for you so you can take advantage of the awesome deal on your purchase on Plaid Online. And again, if you're just tuning in, this is our very first ever Paint with Plaid party. We're here with our Plaid creators and we're gonna create this awesome painting and it's just a way to have fun, be creative. If you're a painter, you've done paintings your whole life, join us, it's just a fun thing to do. If not, um, if this is your first time you've ever painted, you can do this, I promise. It's gonna be super easy, we're gonna have a lot of fun. This is live, so it's a blessing and a curse, but um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We wanna hear where you're tuning in from. If you have any questions or comments, we have Chris Williams and Jackie Wynia, who are head of our education and our design here at Plaid. So we have the mecca of anybody that, any questions you would possibly have, we can get them answered for you tonight about any of our fabulous Plaid products. Um, again, I'm Kira and I'm going to lead you through this really fun night and we're gonna get started on our painting. So, and Tim, I'm gonna refer to Tim, he's our cameraman, so he's uh, behind the scenes. And Deanna does all our social media, so all the awesome posts that you see on um, our Instagram and our Facebook and Pinterest, she's in charge of that. So if you comment um, or have a question, she's gonna be the one who's um, relaying to me and we'll get you the answers right here live. So um, are you guys all ready? And we kind of have a little uh, theme going on. So we're doing the cactus. We've got, we had Mexican for dinner. We've got margarita cupcakes. We've got our beer and limes and everybody's ready to go. So um, we're gonna get started. Um, so and I'm gonna paint on a little, little bigger canvas just so it's easier for everybody to see at home. Um, and again, this is live. So if you need a little more time or have more questions, let me know and we'll paste this for the whole group. Um, we listed in the product, this is a 10 by 10 wood um, panel canvas and we sell this on Plaid Online. And this is what everybody here is gonna be painting on and at home. But again, you can go ahead and use a canvas any size you want. The technique's gonna all be the same, it's just what you prefer. I like this wood because we're gonna let a, a little bit of the natural wood show through. Um, so I like that look. Um, so the other things before we start, I'm gonna tell you we're going to learn tonight is we're gonna learn how to do a very easy ombre. So you can see on this, we start dark and we go up. So we're gonna ombre, which is really big and trending. And we're also going to um, use our painter's tape and we're gonna tape off for the, um, the pot of the, the canvas or the cactus. And so to create this really cool geometric um, shape, so we're gonna show you how easy that is and it's a super easy technique you can take um, across the board on all your paintings or your projects. And then we're also gonna blend um, with our paint. We're gonna do um, some light to dark and talk about shadows and um, light source. So, um, and we're using folk art paint, so I'll tell you all the colors. Um, and it's just regular folk art paint and um, we're also going to use um, our new brush metallics that we use, which is super trendy right now. Um, it's, it's a really pretty matte finish, so we're gonna use that for um, the pot of our cactus. And also, if you are painting at home with us, I forgot to mention, um, we want you to show us what you're doing while you're doing it, after you're done doing it. Um, take a picture of you and your friends together. Um, you know, if you're, 
after we do the first step, take a picture and hashtag it with paint with plaid because we want to be able to like it and share it. And we want to see what you're doing because this is really exciting for us. So um, I hope everybody enjoys. So we're going to get started. I'm going to quit talking and start painting. Um, so our first step is we're going to use our painter's tape. So everybody grab your roll of painter's tape. And again, um, you can buy this on plaid online. And everybody's working on a square in the room. Mine's a little bit larger, so it's easier to see. But um, we're going to tape off on the canvas. And remember, anywhere you put this tape, the paint is not going to adhere or be. So when you take it off, that's what you're going to see underneath. So we're going to use this technique to create the um, pot for the cactus. And I'm going to go about four, four and a half inches up your canvas on both sides and there's some rulers everybody has but about four four and a half inches up you can see this might be easier to see and you're going to take your tape and you're going to run it along your surface so again i'm winging it here because i'm a little bit bigger i'm gonna have a giant pot for my cactus and you want to press lightly press the tape down and again this is going to create the um the top of your pot for your cactus Okay, and then you're going to take another piece of your tape and you're going to angle it and you're going to go about, if you're working on this 10 by 10 canvas, you're going to go about two and, a half, two and a half inches in from the edge on both sides. So you can see you're creating your pot. So you want to go about two and a half inches in. And Deanna, how's, how's everybody doing Everyone's in Facebook? So okay. I uh, have people from all over the country. Awesome. Southern California, Laura from Arizona. Hi, Laura. Paula from North Carolina. Okay. Hi, Paula. Oh, Priscilla Hauser. Hey, Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. Hey. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So, everybody. Everybody in the room, I don't know who to check on first, Facebook world or uh, the room. But here we go. You can see I've made, this is going to be my pot. Are we going at a good speed, everybody? Good speed? Seems like it, yeah. Okay. And um, another uh, tip that we went ahead and did for the creators that are here um, if you want to keep the edge of your canvas very clean, you can go ahead and tape, the use this painter's tape and tape the edge of your canvas off. And that'll just give you a really nice clean edge. So um, for the room here, we've already gone and done that. Um, I'm not so worried about mine, but that's a great tip for all your paintings. If you want to use a painter's tape, if you don't want the edge of your canvas painted, you can go ahead and tape that off and then just remove it at the end. So is everybody good? Yeah, okay. So next, this is kind of the fun part, and this is where everybody starts to get a little bit different. Um, we're going to use our tape, and we're going to create a geometric pattern, which, um, you know, geometrics, large shapes are um, very trending right now. And we're going to use our painter's tape, and we're going to create our pattern that we're going to paint um, later on our pot for our cactus. So again, um, very geometric. You can go more abstract. Um, if you're someone that likes things very symmetrical, you can use a ruler and measure it off. I'm just going to do some easy, um, easy lines, zigzags with my tape here. And again, wherever you put the tape, you are not going to um, have any paint. So your canvas or your wood is going to show through when we're done. So there you go. And for people just joining us, if we want to take a look at what we're painting, yeah. Be great. So if you are just joining us, this is the very first Paint with Plaid night. We are having a painting party here at Plaid. How many peas is that? Can I possibly say? Um, we're here with our Plaid creators. So we have our awesome group of bloggers, and they are painting with us in the room. We're having a party. We've got our, our paint, our wine, our decorations, and we are making this painting tonight. So we want you to paint along with us. We hope you're with all your friends or you're painting by yourself and relaxing. It's almost the end of the week, thank goodness. 
Um, and if not, you can get the instructions and the list of products on Plaid Online. There's also a special promo code that Deanna is going to give you for a special discount on this and any of our other Plaid products. And it is 1PWP30. And also, if you are painting or when you do paint this, please hashtag your project with Paint with Plaid because we want to like it and we want to see what everybody's doing. And if you're out there, you have any questions or comments, let us know. We've got our creative director, our director of education here. I'm here. We've got 10 bloggers. So we can answer any of your painting questions. Um, so I'm going to keep taping real quick. I hope everybody is almost done. So we have people from Brazil, by the way. Woo! Hey, Brazil! And everyone, get our paint on. That needs the details on the promo code and also a link to the supply list. It's in the comments now. Yes. Yeah, so check your comments if you need the supply list or the um, discount code. So again, um, I just made a pattern. Everybody has their pattern. Good to go, creators. Yes. yes. All right. And you guys are going to get to meet them in a second. So. Um, like I mentioned, we are using um, folk art paint, and I'll um, mention the colors as I use them, so don't let me forget. Um, Tim, you got a shot. Here's all my folk art. Here's my cocktail. Here's my paint brushes. <laughs> um, so we are going to start with Calypso Sky, and we are going to do um, just a really easy ombre. Um, so we're going to start. I'm going to put, and I just use paper, um, you know, disposable plates. You can use pa a palette, um, palette paper, scrap paper. Um, so I'm going to use some Calypso Sky, and this is going to be for your ombre for the background. So everybody, Calypso Sky on your palette, everybody out there. And we're going to use our flat brush. It's a one and a half inch flat brush. And um, I like to get my brush just a little bit wet before I start. That's just something I've always done, so I get a little bit damp. And to start the ombre, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the most pure paint. So we're going to start with the pure Calypso Sky, and we're going to paint up until the pot. Um, the tape meets the canvas. We're going to peat up to the edge. So let's get into the paint, guys. It's been long enough, right? So you're going to take your Calypso Sky, and we're going to paint. So you want to paint. all the way up and remember it's okay if it goes it overlaps on the paint that's why this is so easy and anybody can do it because you're going to take that tape off and it's going to give you a nice crisp edge so you don't have to worry Cindy from Oklahoma is watching hey Cindy hey Cindy and also a shout out from your friend Kate hi Kate <laughs> Kate Beller so go ahead and paint all the way up to where your tape meets the edge there. Kind of creates the triangle. Okay? Everybody good? So next what we're going to do is um, we're going to get a little bit of white. And we have a wicker white. And I'm just going to use the same plate. And just a quick comment from, thank you, Jackie, for letting us know that we might need to get in a little closer. The okay. light is a little bit too light. Thanks, Jackie. You see? Is that better? Okay, good. Okay, so um, next to my Calypso Sky, I have added some of the wicker white paint. And this is where we're going to start the ombre. So we're going to mix some white into the Calypso Sky. And we're going to create one shade lighter. So one shade lighter than your Calypso Sky. A little bit lighter ombre, a little bit darker, but you're just going to blend up from your purest color all the way up. So blend in some of your wicker white into your color. Hey, everybody! We're back, we're back. Technical difficulty. Like I said, we are live and we are painting. Um, so I can even hear myself in the room here. <laughs> um, so um, we're back and we are just painting with our wicker white and our Calypso Sky. And we are just going to paint right up until that tape that we created our, um, our pot with. 
and it's taking me a lot of paint with such a large canvas so you guys are working a little bit smaller scale but again you add your wicker white and your calypso and the trick that I like to do is if I'm going darker to light I like to get to my ombre I'm going to add white to my color for the mid and then when we go lighter ombre up I like to add a little bit of dark into my light if that makes sense so so we've gone about three quarters of the way up now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add um, white into that mid-range color that we just made so you're gonna go even one shade lighter so you started with Calypso sky and now we are two shades lighter and we're gonna go right over top of where we were with that mid color is that making sense everybody and we're just gonna keep blending it in so you're gonna get all the way to a really light blue and I like to keep adding just a tiny bit of water to keep my paint going so if you were just tuning in or you were back from our little brief pause um, we are having our very first ever paint night with plaid and we have our plaid creators here we have um, a room full of people we're having our cocktails and our wine and we are getting our paint on tonight so oh. I hope everyone is relaxing and painting and enjoying yes why don't we show everyone the painting really quick that we're creating. yes and a couple comments thank you Azalea because the feed was down yes a couple of people are behind so why okay don't we need some of our plaid creators now might be a great time to do that that's perfect while this dries um, we're gonna talk to some of our creators and I'll be right back to finish our painting awesome well I don't know if anyone knows this, but Plaid is actually in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're going to start with our hometown girl, Erin. Yes. <laughs> Hello, I'm Erin Spain, and I blog at ErinSpain.com. I'm from right here in Atlanta, and I write about home decorating and DIY. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Erin Spain Blog. Awesome. And just if you're not familiar with our Plaid Creators group, it's a group of nine amazing bloggers, which we've been working with for... Uh, a year and a half now, and it's been a super, super exciting relationship. So let's go ahead and meet Kathy. Uh, hi, I'm Kathy. I blog at FettyCoeJunction.com, and that's Junction with a K. If you want to know how to paint furniture, come on over. I'm, I'm your girl. Let's take a look at Kathy's ombre. Look at her ombre. Look at this. This is beautiful. This it's looks easy. great. Easy. So awesome. good. <laughs> All right, Kira, should we pop back over? Yeah, I'm just uh, right. fixing my we'll tape here. Somewhere. We'll meet everyone else. Yes. Okay. So is everybody good? We have our ombre, I think all our creators. So again, we are just using Folk Art Calypso Sky and Wicker White. And we started with our Calypso Sky at the bottom. And we've added white as we've gone along and blended up. So pretty easy. And this is um, giving everybody a second to get this done and let it dry. And while that's drying, Connie has a question. The discount code is in the comments. You'll see from uh, Plaid Crafts. And Kira, if you want to shout the discount code. I do. I even I have it written down so I didn't forget. So the discount code for Plaid Online is 1PWP30. So check it out in our comments. And while you guys are painting out there or when you do a project, remember to hashtag paint with plaid because we want to like it and we want to see what everybody's doing. So if you are just tuning in, this is the painting we're doing. We're going to go from this to this, and I promise you, you can do this. It is easy. Okay, so everybody ready for the next step? Okay, so we're going to be done with the big brush. Um, I'm going to just set this aside here. Pardon my mess. Um, so next, we're going to take our pencil. This is the easy part, the not scary part. And we're going to draw the shape of our cactus. Now you're thinking, oh, I can't draw. I'm not a drawer. You can. So it's just ovals and um, like teardrop shapes. So use this picture um, as your guide. And everybody's is going to be a little bit different. Um, but again, it's just ovals and circles and teardrops. And it's super easy. So don't be intimidated. You can do this. We're going to take your pencil and we're going to start drawing. Okay, is everybody ready? Yes, I'm okay. so excited because Marie and Mark are doing a date night. That's so cute! I'm so jealous! That's awesome! We love you, Marie and Mark! 
Make sure you uh, hashtag paint with plaid so we can see your cute little date night. All right, so everybody ready? We're gonna draw your cactus. So I'm gonna start on the left here. And so I'm gonna do my first shape. I'm gonna do a teardrop, super easy. And don't worry, you're gonna paint right over this. So you can't mess it up. Everybody's is gonna be a little bit different. Don't be scared, just get it on there and we're gonna paint it and it's gonna look fantastic. And someone that taught me um, how to paint told me you can always paint over it. So don't be afraid, you're not gonna mess it up. Worst case, you let it dry and you paint right over it. So you guys got this out there. So we're going to um, draw our cactus. And again, it is just circles, ovals, um, teardrops. If you think of it like that, it's less intimidating. So I'm gonna draw my cactus and I'm just using the example um, kind of as my, my, my reference here. So I hope everybody is uh, getting it. Kind of running off. I'm doing a rectangular canvas because it's larger. Um, I think everybody's working on a square right now, but you can do this on anything. So that easy. You can, if you can draw a circle or an oval teardrop, you got this, right? We're going to make it look fabulous. Awesome. Okay. It looks so great. And All actually, right. we had a comment that it was hard to hear our bloggers over here, so I want to make sure that Aaron and Kathy, okay. we can just do a quick re-intro for Aaron. If you want to come a little bit closer, because I think the sound is a little... Oh, so oh, do you want me to share? Yes. All right, yes. here. I'm not going to, I'm going to share. All right, we're so live. <laughs> it's not even it's we're yeah. totally live. All right. Hopefully you can keep it up. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do this again. Okay, so I'm Erin Spain, and I blog at erinspain.com, and I write about home decorating and DIY. I'm from here in Atlanta, and you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Erin Spain blog. Okay, yeah, all right. And thank you, Erin, and thank sorry you. that are not able to hear Erin and Kathy, but we definitely want y'all to meet them. This is Kathy Owen. Hi, I'm Kathy. I blog at PetticoatJunction.com. I paint furniture, I make crafts, I recycle projects, I take you to flea markets. So stop by and see me, PetticoatJunction.com. Awesome. So we can head back to your canvas up here. Okay, here. okay. So this gave everybody a chance to um, go ahead and draw your base of your cactus. So this is going to be your outline, basically, and this is what we're going to fill in. Okay. So, um, next, so is everybody drawn? Everybody's good out there? All right. So, we're going to use um, our classic green, our sap green, and our um, white and black to do our cactus. So, we're going to mix some colors and um, we're going to do. We're going to do um, our base coat of our mid green, which is classic green, and then we're going to add shadow and highlight. Now, for you that paint or don't paint, um, remember you always want to have a light source coming in on your painting, and so the light's always going to be on one side consistently, and the dark's always going to be on the other side. So just remember that when we add our light and dark to our base. So I'm going to start with our classic green maybe okay classic green and I'm working on a large canvas you guys are working on a very much smaller 10 by 10 um, but so I'm going to use our half inch angle brush um, or you could use um, for your smaller a 3 8 angle brush and this is all in the folk art brush pack that we recommend for this project I'm gonna use a larger one because my canvas is bigger and we are just going to start filling in our cactus shapes. So no pressure painting on live Facebook. I got a lot of paint going here. Um, so you are gonna feel, and if you go over the line, it's okay, no one's gonna know, that line's gonna disappear. So you wanna use your classic green. You wanna get a nice line there. Okay, and you just want to fill in all your ovals, your circles, and your teardrops. So you're putting your base color down. So we're going to add a lighter and darker after we get all these filled in. So 
So, uh, Deanna, where do we have people tuning in from? We have people from, lots of people in Georgia. Some from hi, Portugal. Georgia. Oh, hi, Portugal. Very nice. And as everyone's filling in their, uh -huh. their cacti, why don't we meet some more of our black creators? Yeah, that would be awesome. awesome. I'm going to keep going because it's going to take me a while. i got a big canvas going here. Uh, let's D Mike. There we go. Perfect. And so, Amy, I have to say, hi to your husband, Dan. And you have hi, Aaron. Yeah, is Aaron your sister? No, Aaron is my best friend and my assistant. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lots She's of love on the for payroll too. Uh, lots of love for a uh, yeah. lot of over here. So, Amy, <laughs> tell us all about your blog. Um, I blog at oneartsymama.com, and you can find me on One Artsy Mama and all the social channels. I do home decor, I do jewelry, kids' crafts, but my specialty is hand lettering. And Amy actually has an amazing book that's coming out next month, right? July 11th is the release date. What's the name of the book? Hand Lettering for Relaxation. And where can we find it? You can pre-order it now on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com or Book Depository, and it'll just show up at your door on July 11th. Awesome. If you order right now, it's only $14 and change, but if you wait until July 11th, it's $21.99. It is, and definitely check out her hand lettering on her blog. It is amazing. It's amazing. We've been having a lot of fun crafting today, and Everyone is in awe of your lettering, so it's awesome. Thank you. So, while y'all are still painting those ovals and shapes in, let's talk to Abby. I love your cacti. Thank you let's very much. Let's take a look at her cacti. Come on closer. Looking really good. Yeah. Tell us all about your blog, Abby. Hi guys, I'm Abby from thecardsredrew.com. Um, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and I'm a lifestyle site, so I do crafts, recipes, DIY, family ideas, and more. Um, you can find me at thecardsredrew.com on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and um, at AbsRed2000 on Pinterest. So check me out. Awesome! Yay! Thank you. And just so y'all know, we've been having so much fun with our plaid creators. Our plaid creators are a group of nine, actually ten, amazing bloggers uh, that have been here for a couple days, and we've been having so much fun crafting. And this is Katie. Hi. Thanks for coming and joining us while we're all painting. Um, like Deanna said, I'm Katie, and I blog at Made to Be a Mama, where we celebrate all things homemaking. We do um, crafts, home decor, lots of kids' treats and kids' crafts, and some recipes. Awesome bright colors on, like yeah, that's one of my favorite things about your blog. <laughs> Very happy. If you need a dose of happiness, check out Katie's blog. They're so adorable. <laughs> Kira, should we head back over to you? Oh, oh yeah. we've got more time. Yeah, I'm almost okay. done. Okay, all right. I'm almost done. All right. <laughs> There's just a tiny. Let's I have a giant look. canvas. <laughs> Way right, you. all the pressure of live and a giant canvas. So if you are just tuning in, we are hosting our very first Paint with Plaid night, and we are creating this awesome cactus painting. We are here with our plaid creators, and you can check out, um, get all the supplies on plaidonline.com. We have a very special promo code to purchase this product and all our products on plaidonline.com. Deanna's gonna post it in our comments. And if you are painting or going to paint this or anything you're doing, we wanna see how you're being creative, please hashtag it with paint with plaid because we wanna like it and we wanna see what you're doing. And while Kira's finishing her cacti, yes, I'm almost done. from everyone out there on Facebook, uh, Anna loves Made to be a Mama. Yay! And Carbon sees Jackie in the back. Jackie, can you wave to everybody? Can you get a quick shot of Jackie over there? A clap from Carbon. Lots of love. Aaron, this, Amy, Aaron seems amazing. <laughs> she absolutely Lots. is. Hey, Aaron. Thank Everyone you. should have an Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> we have people from Canada. We have Michael, who's also on our communications team. Hey, Michael. Hey. Awesome. Portland, Oregon. Hi That's everybody, I'm glad everybody is joining in. It's almost the weekend, so what a better way. I mean, you just have to get through Friday, so get your drink, get your snacks, and do your painting. Exactly, and all of our US, uh, maybe you have a long weekend. Yes, that's true, so. that's true, 4th of July, if you're tuning in from the US. So is everybody filled in? So not scary. We taped, we did our ombre, we drew our cactus, and we filled in with our classic green. So is everybody ready? All right. No, no, <laughs> the plaid creators are behind. All right, well, I am going to just start getting my other colors ready. So 
Um, we're going to use sap green, and like I mentioned, you're going to have um, on all your paintings a light source. So you're going to have a highlight and a shadow. You want to keep your highlight on one side and your shadow on the other. So for me, I'm choosing to have my light coming in um, on the, if you're staring at the painting, on the left, and my shadow is going to be on the right. And it may just look like blobs of green, but once you start to add your shadow and your highlight, the cactus is going to start to form. So I'm going to take my sap green, okay. um, and I'm going to use the same brush I was using, and I'm going to take my sap green, and I'm going to go, I'm going to do my shadow side of my cactus, so my right side, and I'm going to start on the top, the angle, you can see the angled brush, and I'm going to pull down and blend into the classic green. So you want to blend, and you can see that the shadow is starting to form. So can you get, can you see that? Can everybody see that? Again, no pressure painting live, so. Okay. So we're gonna do this on every um, cacti, I guess we're calling it, but on every um, oval you know, circle you made to start to define the individual cactuses, cacti, um, we're going to do that. So take your dark, start at the top, and pull down. You're going to go about halfway and blend into the classic green. So you can see right now we have our mid color and we're starting to bring our shadow. So it's going to start to look like it's rounded. So I'm going to do this on all of them. Ooh, a question. Oh, I love questions. Okay, is let's this do the this. the same brush as the first green brush that you used? Hey, Celia. It is. So I'm using the half inch angle um, brush because my canvas is a little bit larger. So you just kind of have to get a feel for, um, you know, what's working. But we uh, gave you guys an awesome brush pack. I don't, um, I don't know if there's any packaging here. I'm going to grab this. So... Um, this is our folk art. Um, it's for uh, it's four pieces. It's for base coating and detail. So you're going to get four different sizes. That's going to be great, um, depending on the size of your surface that you're working on and how large your um, cactus circles are. Um, I'm using the half um, inch because I'm working a little bit larger. Um, and the exact supply list is actually in the comments. Yes. We posted that link in the comments as well as the discount code. Yes, so discount code in the comments. Go to Plaid Online. You can buy all this product um, and a ton of other stuff that um, Plaid makes that we love. Kira, is now a good time for us to meet some more of our It is. Creators. I'm going to go ahead. Does anybody have any questions about adding the shading here? I think... We got it. Yeah, Everybody yeah. got it. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Shading is going great for the world. I got a lot to go. Okay, go meet some more. Awesome and fabulous. Awesome. We've been hanging with them all week, so check them out. Okay. All right, so this is a really special one because 50% of this <laughs> blog is not here, and special shout out, Casey. Sam, you better be watching. I'm Liz, and I blog at the Pretty Life Girls, plural with my sister Sam who just had a baby so she's not with us. Um, it's prettylifegirls.com. We, we um, blog about DIY, we blog about personal style and recipes and you can find us at, at Pretty Life Girls on social media. We miss you, Sam. We miss you, Sam. Out there Hi. We totally miss you. How's your shading going? Um, I haven't started, so if you're way behind, <laughs> you're, you might be a Pretty Life Girl. <laughs> Awesome. So over here, your husband says hi, by the way. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I am Amy. I blog at PositivelySplendid.com. I have started a little bit of shading, but I feel like I, if I can do this, anybody can. Trust me. This is really fun. Um, I specialize in crafts, sewing, recipes, and home decor. And I actually have got a book coming out this fall as well. Um, it's a book all about centerpieces, so ways to spruce up your tables. Um, I don't have an exact release date yet, but if you follow along on social media, Positively Splendid, I'll be able to give you some clues as to when that's going to happen. Yay, so. that is so exciting. Yeah. That is super exciting. 
And our Plaid creators, if you don't know, it's our group of bloggers that we work with here at Plaid and they create amazing, amazing content and inspiration for us all year long. So definitely it's check out all their It's one of the blogs. best jobs going on. I mean, <laughs> and don't worry, we're gonna post the links to all of their blogs in the comments after the broadcast is over as well. Awesome, so, enjoy guys. Yay! Kira, should we dump back over uh, to you? It's like the cake out of the oven yeah. on the cooking show. Ta-da! <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, we are here. Um at our Paint with Plaid night. We are creating this awesome canvas painting. We hope you're joining us. Hashtag Paint with Plaid if you are painting tonight or you have a long weekend coming up and you want to paint, get your friends together. Um, check out the supply list and the discount code in our comments below so you can get all this fabulous product. And we're going to keep painting. So I hope everybody's enjoying. We just um, added our sap green to our cactus. So we base coated our cactus with the classic green. And then we went in and added our sap green, which is darker, to create shading. And you can see that you're starting to form more like a, it looks like a cylinder, like it's a, it's a 3D object to your cactus up there. So next, we're going to go in and we're going to add white to our, um, and I'm going to use the same plate. We have our sap green. I'm going to add white. And the thing is so nice that folk art has so hundreds and hundreds of colors, but you can mix and match and light and dark with your white and your black and your grays that you can create so many additional beautiful colors. So, you know, we picked this really pretty palette for everybody. Um, you've got your greens, your blues, um, your coral, and um, the brush metal we're going to talk about. So again, we're using folk art paint tonight. Um, I am going to just use the same brush I was using. I'm using a half inch angle brush because my canvas is a little larger. If you feel more comfortable, you can use the 3 8 inch that comes in the four pack of brushes. We got a lot of options here. Um, it's a really nice brush too. It's got like a rubber grip. So um, I'm gonna take my brush just with the sap green. I'm gonna take my wicker white folk art that we used earlier and I'm going to mix it. I'm going to go lighter and we're going to start, um, we're going to add our highlight onto our cactus. And again, you want um, just a light green. You want to add your white and your sap green. And this way you're not wasting your paint either. You already have your plate out. So I'm going to load my brush up. And the same thing that we did with the shadow, we're going to do on the other side with the light to create a highlight. So you want your highlight coming in on this painting from your left and your shadow is going to be on your right. So um, we're going to take our, our light and we're going to do the same technique. And we're just going to start blending it. So we're going to go. You can get probably two of your cactus. Again, mine's a little bit larger and you just want to blend in. And um, you know, if you feel like you're getting too much of a contrast, you can always add a little classic paint is so thick and creamy um, add a little classic green and you can always kind of blend in the middle and again this is your painting your I mean see how you get that you get your light your medium and your dark super easy so we're gonna um, go in and just keep adding our highlight on there so we're gonna do that to everyone very easy so it looks like the light's coming in a little bit on that guy. You can have a big canvas. So you're just gonna take your white and your sap green. And if you need help blending, just go ahead and you can use that classic green that we use to base coat and it kind of helps you blend a little bit. So you don't get a harsh water. line. I do, I like to use water just to keep the paint moving. Um, it, it just gives me, I feel like a little bit more movement in my paint. And we still have the same paintbrush. Same paintbrush. I like to use the same paintbrush. I like when colors are mixed, you know. Um, I like a little bit more painterly effect. Some people like a little sharper line or um, it's, it's really your style and you'll kind of see like how you start to form if you haven't ever painting. This is the first time you've ever even used a paintbrush. Um, or if you've been doing this for years and this is just something fun and it's your hobby, like how relaxing is this, you know, and you're creating a piece of art. Well, everyone's highlighting. Should we go check out some more blogs? Yes, I'm going to keep going. Favorites? And actually, just a little... Um, 
uh, little crafter, Amy, would like to check out your painting. Oh. So let's check that out. How's that look, little crafter? <laughs> You're looking good. That is my eight-year-old son, and he has a good eye for art. So he'll, he'll <laughs> tell me if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we are gonna go meet a couple more of our amazing <laughs> bloggers. Here we go, and again, if you're just tuning in, we are meeting our plaid creators who are a group of amazing, amazing bloggers who create amazing content with all of our plaid products all year long. And we're gonna get to meet Bev. Hi, I'm Bev McCullough, and I blog at flamingotoes.com and um, on flam all social media as Flamingo Toes. And I do crafts and DIY and sewing and embroidery and all sorts of stuff. So I'd love for you to come visit. Awesome, and can you tell us, because I know probably a popular question is like, how did your blog get the name Flamingo Toes? So tell us. Oh, I just wanted something creative and unique that people would remember. And I used to collect flamingos in college and it kind of just stuck and it's memorable. What do flamingo so, toes look like? How many toes do they have? Just kind of three. Like this. Okay. <laughs> three toes. Flamingos have three toes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we trivia go. For you. Yeah. <laughs> Win a trivia contest. Yeah. with that information. Yes. <laughs> All right, so coming over, this is Ashley. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley and I vlog at cherishedbliss.com. I do lots of home decor, DIY projects. I even build some furniture every once in a while. So um, I'd love to have you come by and see what I've been up to. And you can follow me on all social media channels at Cherished Bliss. And if some of the building looks intimidating, you really have it's really all not. the instructions. It's no different than this painting. It's like it's one step at a time and you just learn the basics and you can build all kinds of amazing things for your house at a fraction of the cost. So it's lots of fun. So and it's and, therapeutic. Yeah, and if you're just tuning in, all of our audience here are a group of plaid creators who are amazing bloggers that create content for us all year long. They are part of our, our launches of new products and just have amazing blogs to check out. And one of the things we did at Plaid was to play, play a little game. So can you also tell everyone how you learned how to build furniture? Because that was part of our... Well, I actually, I, so I learned to build furniture in high school theater, but I did grow up with a dad. My dad was a woodworker and his family for generations always did woodworking. So I was just always around it. But I got into theater in high school and I did lots of the, the technical stuff and the background you know, I was always behind the scenes and we built the sets and we painted them and we made them look like houses. And so that was kind of where my, like how I adapted what my dad taught me into like furniture building and home decor and stuff like that. So lots of fun. Awesome. And again, we will post all of our Ply Creators links in the comments so you can check out all of their blogs. So Kira, um, what do we have going okay, on? Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, next. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to keep going. So if you're just tuning in, we are creating this painting and we have done our base coat, our shading, and our highlight. So everybody's at that point now. So we have our cactus. Um, she's laughing. I feel like the cactus is waving to them and it makes them happy. Oh, <laughs> yay! Hey, that's, if that's all that happens is that you're happy after you're doing this, what more could you want, right? So um, after you have your three shades of green on, your base, your dark, and your light, I'm going to actually take our um, folk art licorice, and that's our black, and I'm going to add um, just a little bit more of a shadow and define the cactus shapes, and then also we're going to add the little spikes, the little pricklies on there. Um, again, if you're working on a smaller canvas, you can adjust um, the pack of brushes we recommended, come with four different sizes. If you're working on this canvas, this is a 10 by 10. I'm gonna recommend you use the 1 8 inch um, folk art brush to create your little pricklies and your shading. I'm working on a much larger scale so everybody can hopefully see. So I'm gonna stick with my larger brush, but it's an angled brush and they all work the same for that purpose. Mine's just a little larger. So we're gonna take our black and what I'm gonna do is I'm going, <laughs> we are going to, um, we're gonna just go to the bottom right and we're gonna, at the base of each of the ovals or your cactus, we're gonna start to paint and it's just gonna really define your cactus. Um, and you can go all the way up. It's, this is just creating more depth in your cactus. And this will help you can um, even outline a little bit so you can def start to define the shapes 
So does that make sense? And you can blend up into your green. So I'm just gonna keep adding this here. And you wanna do this on all the cactus. And again, it's just how dark you wanna get. I like a, you know, a, a darker shadow and kind of go up the side so it really pops. So I'm not gonna keep going, but you get it. You go through, you'll go through all your cactus and you can just, you know, hit the base of your cactus and that's really where it would be darker on an actual cactus. So you kind of go underneath there. Hey, and sorry to Sandra out there who couldn't hear some of our creators. We will absolutely post the links to all of their blogs in the comments. Yes. So don't worry, we will definitely yes. make sure that you are able to connect with all of our amazing yes, flag bloggers. creators. So um, go ahead and add your black, and this is just our folk art licorice, and I'm just adding some um, depth and dimension to our cactus. You want to blend that in, and again, if you get too much dark, remember you can paint over it. You just go back in with your brush, you grab a little sap green and say, I don't like that, just paint over it. Blend that in, it's really simple. That's what's so great about paint. And folk art paint, it covers so well that you're just going to go right over that. Look at that. Awesome comments from everyone on Facebook that the black is really making it pop for them. Good, good. I, I like the black. It adds. You, you look at it like, oh, it's just a screen blob, but when you add the black, you really get some detail and define it. Why don't we take a look at what the canvas will look like when you're done? Yes. And I'm ready. I can keep going. So, um, same brush you use to add the black. We're going to create the little prickly, the little spikes on the canvas. So, Tim, I don't know if you can see this. We're using an angled brush. And what you want to do is super simple. You want to have your tip of your angle up and the tip of the angle down. You want to touch your canvas. Press and pull. Press and pull. Press and pull. So you're going to go. And you want these to be sporadic. As many as you want, as few as you want. Um, a little tip, trick, I like to go one way um, on the light and I like to turn my brush and go the other way on the dark so it looks like they're rounded. You know, it's really forming the shape of the canvas and it's rounded so you can see that it goes up this way and then it turns and goes this way. Does that make sense, everybody? So I hope you guys can see this. So just a little bit of paint, angle brush, you want to push down and pull it like that. So again, as many little spikes as you want, and go back. You can always add. If you put too many, and go back and add some green over top. So you just want to add these on all your little cactus guys right there. Does that make sense, everybody? Add in your little, little line. So you want to make sure the tip of your angle is pointing up. Touch and pull. Touch and pull. Okay? So give everybody a minute. I'm doing these quick. I hope it's looking like a cactus. This one's waving. I hope everybody's happy. Hey, cacti! Hey! hey. Oh. You're doing it. You're doing it. Woo. I mean, what a great way to end the week. We're painting. We're, We're just painting. happy. We're so lucky. We're all doing this. We're hanging out with the plaid creators. We're hanging out with everybody on Facebook. It's Thursday. One more day to get through the week. And even better is plaid product at a discount? Yes. Right? So, discount code? 30% off. Um, there's a special code Deanna has posted in the comments. If you are painting or going to be doing a project this weekend or anytime soon, hashtag paint with plaid because we want to like what you're doing. We want to see what you're making. The plaid creators want to see it. Um, so I'm just adding a couple more uh, little spikes on there. So while you're adding that, why don't we actually go say like hello to John? Okay. The and then Okay. Because it's actually uh, it's actually John's birthday who heads up our communications department. So let's go say hello to John and see how he's doing over here. Well, John, happy birthday. I, I, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm doing all right, but listen, if you're way behind and you're just like now putting the dark part on, that's okay, because that's where I'm at. Like, <laughs> but it's all right, because you can just like go back and see this later and catch up, because I'm a little bit slow. So if you're like me and you're slow, then that, you know, whatever. It's all good, but thank you for the a little birthday, birthday shout wishes. out. Yes, little birthday you. shout Appreciate out. It is that. John's birthday today. Happy and what's how are y'all's paintings going over here? Great. 
Greg. See, they're way Still ahead. Great. She's already got her prickles I'm, I'm, on there. I'm putting prickles on. Is prickles we are the word we're using? I feel like we should. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure what the word is. I think that's a good word. I think it sounds great. The, 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 the cactus needles, whatever. Also, I mean, I think it's good. And it just sounds good to say. <laughs> John is a little behind, but it's his birthday, so it's completely okay. What? It's totally okay. I bet you totally out there okay. in Painterland, there's a lot of people who are behind. So are y'all behind? Let us know in the don't comments. Don't feel if you're bad behind. if you are. Just All right. Saying. Smiley faces if you're behind. Come on, somebody, somebody be like, dude, I'm just filling in the green still. All right. Why don't we take? Yeah, that's right. If you're still on the ombre, then you really are behind. <laughs> Let's take a look at the techniques that Kira is using for the prickly... Prickly prickles? Lots of happy birthday shout outs to John Thank on you. our team here. So this, if you're um, tuning in or you want to see um, what we created, this is the finished product. So Using folk art, um, we're using folk art acrylic and folk art brushed metals. Um, we've ombre, we've shaded, we've taped off. You guys have done a ton already, so that's pretty awesome. If you um, have never painted before, or you are an avid painter, and um, yours probably looks ten times better than mine already, so <laughs> go ahead and hashtag it. Um, paint with plaid because we want to see what you have made and what you are making. Awesome, and there are a couple people commenting. Sarah, okay. it's totally okay that you're still adding in the darks. Nope, you're yes. good. <laughs> uh, okay, and also a shout out to the Avon. Congratulations on your test, by the way. Woo -hoo. Avon says happy birthday, John. Oh. Love you. <laughs> it's a totally family affair here at Plaid. And don't worry, a couple people have missed the beginning of the broadcast. It will be available on our Facebook page to replay, so don't worry about that. You can. Yeah. Absolutely replay it on her Facebook page. Yes. So, um, so uh, the technique we used, very, very simple. Um, using my angled brush, I want the tip of my angle brush up, and I want to push and pull. I want to just touch it down and pull it. So you're just creating your little pricklies on your cactus, your little spikes, and a little tip. I want to go to, I want to go light, I want to go up one way, and when I go to my darker side, I want to go the other way. And again, if you get too many, just paint over it with green. You can always go back in and add if you're missing one. Um, so I think, are we good? Do we want to keep going? And again, if you are behind, you can watch this. Um, it'll be on our plaid, ch our Facebook channel. Um, next, on our painting, we're going to go ahead and add the flowers in. So I'm going to use the same brush I've been using. Again, I'm using a little larger brush that comes in the four pack because my canvas is so large, but use what you're comfortable with. If you need um, the three eighths, I'm using, um, that's the three eighths. This is the one, um, this is the half inch I'm going to use for my flower. I want big flowers, add a little color. My water is getting dirty. So you want to clean your brush really well because we are going to, um, we're going to use the coral color. So this is fire coral, and we're going to create the flowers right on our cactus. So super simple. Again, it's um, the same technique that we use to do the spikes. We're just going to go a little heavier on the paint. I'm going to load with the fire coral, and it's a really nice pop. And I like to add flowers. Um, you can see on the example where the highlight is. So I like to add um, it because it would where it would be growing towards the light. So you're going to take your angle brush, angle up, and we're going to press tap down three times. One, two, three. And there's your flower. How simple is that? So we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to go over here. So I'm going to go where my um, highlight is, my one, two, three. Super simple. Get a little bit more paint. One, two, three. There you go. Add a fourth one in there. So I'm just going to keep adding one, two, three, my flowers. You can add as many as you like. This is where everybody starts to kind of, you know, take shape and you can personalize yours. You can use a different color if you don't like coral. You can use a yellow, you can use a white. Um, one, two, three. So there we go. So that's my flower. And then um, just to add a little highlight on my flower, I'm going to take the same brush. I'm not going to wash it. 
um, that I was using for the coral. I'm gonna um, add a little bit of white. This is the wicker white that we've been using throughout the painting. This is folk art wicker white. And I'm going to pick my middle, um, so there's three. We did one, two, three on our flower. I'm gonna go to the middle and I'm gonna just pounce a little bit of white to add a highlight to my flower. I'm just gonna do that on each one. So if you're just tuning in, we're adding flowers to our cactus painting. We did one, two, three brush strokes to create our flower. And now I'm just adding a little white for a highlight in the middle of our flower. So there you go. You guys, essentially, you guys just created your cactus. Like, you did this. It's awesome. And I'm going to see what everybody's doing. So I want you to hashtag paint with plaid. Um, if you are just tuning in, this is our very first Paint with Plaid night. We're super excited and we want to hear everybody's comments and like and share because we want to do this monthly. Um, next month we want to have a different painting. We want everybody, you know, get your friends together, get your stuff. It's almost the end of the week. You want to relax. We want to create another painting and we love um, seeing what everybody does. So our plan is to um, do this every month with you guys. So we hope you tune, tune in, like us, share us, comment. If anybody has any questions, um, check out all this awesome product on platonline.com. Deanna has um, posted the link, um, the product that you need to create this painting that we're doing, and then also the discount code that we have for Plaid Online, um, you can buy all this product, save some money. It is 1PWP30, and she has posted that in the comments, so make sure you check out all this product on Plaid Online. And hashtag your paintings, because we wanna see what you're doing, we wanna like it, we wanna share it. Um, we're here with all our creators. We are almost done. We created this cactus painting, so everybody should be super proud of themselves. We're having a great time. We've got to meet a lot of our creators, so. Thanks for joining us, everybody, as we uh, finish up this canvas. So we're going to keep going here. Um, is everybody on track now? Are we good? Is everybody caught up? <laughs> hey! 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 So we are live painting. It's crazy. We haven't done this before, so we're really excited. Um, so we have our cactus. And so remember when we first started, we used our painter's tape, and we taped off the pot, the vase of our cactus. So now we're going to go back in and we're going to um, paint within the geometric shapes that we taped off. Now anywhere you taped, the paint's not going to stick. So in these large triangles, this is where the paint's going to be. So just think about that when you're adding your paint, what colors you want and where you want them. Um, we have this fantastic brushed metal, which is brand new this year to folk art. It is a beautiful matte finish. Metallics are so popular and trending, and these colors are gorgeous. We are using, um, this color is, I want to make sure I tell you the right color, brushed gold, appropriate, brushed metal. Um, but it's really pretty. It's not too shiny. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Tim, I don't know if you can show them. So this is the gold that we're using. How pretty is that? And then I added black to it, actually, just to create one shade darker. And the nice thing about this is, like we did with the rest of the painting, Folk Art has hundreds of colors, but you can add black and white and make your own color and really personalize your painting, which I love. Um, so we're going to use our brushed metal. We're going to put this on our palette. I'm, I might be out of plates, so we're going to stick this on here. I'm going to use our brushed metal. I'm going to keep using the same brush I've been using. I'm using the half inch. If you're using a smaller canvas, you can use a 3 8 inch. Um, the brush pack we recommended has four different sizes, so it's going to have absolutely everything you need for this painting and what you feel comfortable using. Um, so I'm going to dip right into my gold here. How pretty is that? You get that tan? It's, I mean, it's such nice paint, super thick. Can you get close enough? There you go. Okay, so I'm going to paint. Um, I'm going to start painting the pot on the cactus. So you just want to fill in there. And um, everybody here is using a 10 by 10 wood canvas. So you can see this is a natural wood. Um, I'm using a larger canvas just so everybody could see a little bit better. But, you know, feel free to use a canvas, wood, scrap wood. You could use a palette. Really, the choice is yours. You can make this as large or as small as you wanted. The techniques don't change. 
So I'm just going to keep painting this. Tammy and Susan, welcome to the party. They're loving the paint party. Yay! Hi, Tammy and Susan. Tammy and Susan, we're loving having you. Make sure you hashtag paint with plaid so we can see what you're making. So then I just paint that. Um, so I'm just going to keep painting. I'm going to go all gold this time. You, Like I mentioned, you can add white, you can add black, you could paint this coral if you wanted to, um, you know, really personalize it. I like the metallic and this brushed metal from Folk Art is beautiful. It's, um, I mean, there's metallics everywhere in everything you see, so I love this color. And while everyone is finishing painting out mm -hmm. there on Facebook, uh, Matt, Amy, Bill, your husband wants yeah, to check out your painting. So ah! Why don't we check that out? I think he just commented, Beth just said that she knows <laughs> what he said. They're all of the comments from Matt Bell are from the Bell family, or Bell kids. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. so Matt, let's check out Amy's painting. So yes, that's what I've been working on. And what's the name of your blog? Positively Splendid. My dad was an oil painter, and so hopefully he would be proud of what Aww, I'm doing tonight. <laughs> I think that looks amazing. Thank you. It looks great. Thank it you. looks great. This is so fun. And here's some of our other plaid creators. How's it going over here, Bev and Ashley? Super great. I mean, it's really fun. I like the gold. And as Kira said, you can Super kind of tape easy. it off in whatever way you want to create fun geometric shapes. Bev's looks very different from Ashley's. I'm you behind. Can, well, I mean, our geometric shapes. Oh, awesome. yeah. So can we all Very make a fun. deal and everyone will tune in next month, all the creators? Yes. 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 Right. All right. We'll get Facebook World and the creators all doing this again next month. I think it's a date, you guys. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, some people are here joining us for date night, girls' yes. night. Any reason to get together and craft and paint is so fun. This looks great, Kira. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Is everybody cut out painting again? Okay. You guys tell, are we ready for the big reveal? This is what we're creating. So where you remove the tape, you're going to have the canvas of their wood. So no pressure. Yay! This is the big reveal. Big reveal. Yes. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to pull quick like a band-aid, right guys? And again, we just use painter's tape. All right. Big reveal. I know, I know. Okay, there. Oh, look, look, Yay! look. Look at those lines. Yeah. Okay, can you guys see? Look at that. We're doing it. I have to kind of take this off in steps, you guys. This is the, the beauty of live. Can everybody see? All right. Okay, you guys, this is it. Last one. Ta-da! All right. So you guys, this is a painting and you just did this. We did it, what, in about an hour? We took some breaks to meet our creators. Um, here's the mini version. Here's the larger version. Again, it's going to be different every time, which is so nice. You could create like a whole collection of these. You can do different pots, different colors, change it up. Um, it's so easy and I hope everybody had a really good time doing this. Um, I don't know if we want to take a look at everybody's, if we want to wrap up. We yeah, want to take a look at our room. Yeah, we want to see what everybody's doing. Like, Woo! Woo! Looks so great. Yeah. What our hashtag is, hashtag paint, paint with plaid. Share your creations with us. And Autumn, your suggestion, I love this so much. She loves that you can do this with friends who are far away and it's still like being oh, together, which is oh, such a great oh, girls' that. night. That's so, so important. Sweet. Such a great girls' night. Because it's so important. So we guys, we want ladies or guys, if you're joining us, there's a date night. Um, we want everybody to hashtag paint with plaid. We want to see what you have made or what you're going to make. Check out Plaid Online. Deanna has posted a special promo code. You can get all this product and more on Plaid Online. And um, we want to do this next month. So share and like and stay tuned for more details because we want to do this and we want to share with everybody and hang out with our friends and we want to paint and relax. And um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we hope you had a great time. I had a great time. And have a great weekend. And we'll see you all soon. Woo! Woo!